Hello, everyone's doing a wonderful job so far in the workshop. I'm really enjoying seeing all the design evaluations and criteria from the Khan Academy website and the Merlot website. One of the things that I'd like to kind of take a look at with you for just a little bit, because the topic has come up, is the idea of mobile learning. And mobile learning is a topic in and of itself, and there are so many design criteria, but as they relate to visual design, I want to spend just a few minutes and talk about that and point out some resources. One of the most difficult and challenging parts of making your site mobile is the visual design aspects, because that we can feasibly have courses displayed on a variety of sizes of screens, types of devices, things like that, and so we need to make sure that our content is scalable. And one of the best ways, that, uh, tools that I found to do that um, with a little bit of HTML knowledge, uh, jQuery Mobile is a wonderful resource. And you can actually go in and download the, um, the, the package there and be able to use this to create um, mobile devices. And so this is actually uh, an example of creating mobile content and just some pages. So you can kind of click through there and see that uh, you can actually develop a, a web app for your iPad or iPhone. And it will actually scale based on the type of device that you're using. Uh, I've used this before and it's a very successful program um, and I would highly recommend it. It takes a little bit of time to kind of get used to it but uh, everything that you need to create mobile ready sites is, is all right there. So that's a wonderful resource. There's also a great thing if you'll scroll down on this site that a company is, is uh, um, piloting here and it's kind of a, a prototyping uh, design for uh, iPhones and, and web apps and so here you can actually uh, try it out by just taking let's say a page header and moving that in there and, and you can go in and, and kind of mock up what you want it to say so we could say uh, visual design and you can customize exactly what it does on there we can add a footer to our to our web app here And so you have the ability to kind of customize what's uh, what's on there and be able to, to use it. You can add buttons to it. Um, so you can really just kind of play around and see how you would want a mobile uh, device to be uh, set up. And then you can actually go in and uh, select the download HTML button and it will create it for you. So this is a, a relatively um, newer um, newer tool that's out there but at the very least allows you to kind of try out some ideas and then I, that that idea of trying out um, ideas in visual design is is a key element you want to be able to rapidly prototype uh, your ideas in your course and try things out and the best resource that you have as a good visual designer is your best friend because if you have your best friend who can sit there and, and try and say yeah this really works or this doesn't that really allows you a good sounding board to be able to do that so I would say you know get a good friend to look at your design Designs. There's another uh, few resources here that I want to uh, point out uh, for you, and uh, one is called the uh, Pencil Project, and this is a free resource. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here on my my computer. This is a what's called a wire framing uh, application, and it's free. It's open source, and this allows you to again try out ideas uh, before you actually go about designing them in your course, and so you could uh, rapidly change concepts pretty quickly. So let's say, if, for example, if I was going to build a home page or something for my course I could go in and, and quickly build that out I know that I need a, a heading in here I can go ahead and drag that over and it allows me to rapidly place things here so as you go through you can add maybe a tab box and try out some ideas that way and it gives you a concept, and especially if you're working with folks who can develop resources for you this gives you a way of communicating your concepts to them in a way that's very easy to change and mock up. So you see as I'm scrolling down here we get into uh, even mobile ready applications so you could go in and, and mock that up as well. Uh, you even have a tablet. So uh, that's for Android. We're going to get down here into the iOS devices. So here you can actually bring a button in like what you would see in an iPhone or iPad. Uh, you could even bring in a sample iPad keyboard here. So you have the ability to bring in a lot of different resources and try out ideas really quickly. So I wanted to share that resource with you, especially as we start to look at the um, critiquing visual design and developing these, these criteria that are, that are important elements to be able to make good design decisions. And that's really what it's all about, is making the best design decisions possible for your course. So I, I look forward to working with you continually in this uh, workshop, but I wanted to just pause for a moment and share some of these great resources with you.